Greetings my loves and welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie Caitlin and welcome to yet another productivity video on my channel. In today's video I will be sharing with you guys my 10 daily non-negotiables. That is the things that I absolutely have to do in a day to ensure that I have a healthy, fulfilled and productive life. They say that discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment and I choose to be disciplined because I choose to accomplish my goals. The key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule but rather to schedule your priorities. And by the end of this video, you'll understand exactly what that means. Getting right into it, my first non-negotiable is waking up early. It won't take you two minutes scrolling through my YouTube channel to see that I'm an early riser. And this is something that I won't be changing anytime soon. I wake up as early as I possibly can every day. Sometimes that's 4am, sometimes that's 5am. Why? Our 9 to 5 is someone else's time. That's the 8 hours out of 24 that we spend at our jobs doing whatever tasks are assigned to us, working for someone else essentially. And we're left with 16 hours. But you know what's crazy? That people always complain that they have no time because they work a 9 to 5. But in reality, your employer only takes 8 hours out of your 24. That means you still have 16 hours left to yourself. What sets you and the rest of the world apart is how you use those 16 hours. So, let's say you sleep 8 hours a day and you use 1 hour to get to work, 1 hour to get back from work, that's 2 hours. That gives you 10 hours. If we add on the other 8 hours from the time that you spent at your job, you still have 6 hours left to put to good use. And that is why I choose to wake up early, so that I can use at least 2-3 to three hours for doing something productive for myself in the mornings. My next non-negotiable is making my bed. Now, I know this one is such a cliche, but have you ever noticed how easy it is for the rest of your room and the rest of the house actually to get messy on days when you just get up and leave your bed unmade? I honestly believe that waking up and making your bed immediately not only reduces the chances of you getting back in it instead of actually having a productive morning, but it also somehow low-key motivates you to keep the rest of your space clean and tidy too. My third non-negotiable and probably the most important one is being in bed by 9 p.m. There is no way you're going to wake up as early as 4, even 5 a.m. and actually be useful and productive if you haven't gotten enough sleep throughout the night. It just won't happen. As a medic, I know the importance of getting at least 7 to 9 hours of sleep a night and I aim at just that. I usually like to be in bed by 8 p.m. so I can actually wind down and fall asleep by 9 p.m. That gives me a solid 7 to 8 hours of sleep so that I can wake up easily at 4 a.m. or at 5 full of motivation and have the strength not only to get through the morning but the rest of the day too. I need enough rest to not only be productive at 5 a.m. but so I can have a proper functioning mind to give my undivided attention to the patients that I see throughout the day as their medical doctor. My fourth daily non-negotiable is to have my quiet time and remembering my why. Sometimes routines get monotonous and it's really easy to fall out of routine but so hard to get back into routine. And that's why it's so important to stay consistent. But staying consistent is only easy to do if you remember your why. Why do you wake up that early? Why did you choose that job? Why are you in that location? Just why, why and why? I like to have some quiet time, either first thing in the morning or just before I sleep, just to reflect on my current situation, where I've come from, where I'm going, what I've achieved so far, and everything in between. This keeps me grounded and motivated. My fifth daily non-negotiable is reading my Bible, and this list is in no particular order of importance or anything, but one thing that is so easy to do is to just fall off the spiritual bandwagon and just wing life with no guidance, no spiritual direction, just vibes. And once you skip your devotions and Bible study for one day, you might find yourself realizing it's been days since you last opened your Bible or got down on your knees and prayed. As I've grown over the years, I've come to realize that the Bible is more than just the Bible. It's actually a book full of life lessons and principles and guidance on all aspects of life. And I'm making it a point to study it for myself and hear the word of God directly for myself, by myself. We live in a time where pastors and preachers have become motivational speakers, just feeding us what we'd like to hear, rather than teaching us what the Bible actually says and where we actually stand with God in this sinful world. My sixth daily non-negotiable is checking my habit tracker. If you've never watched my previous videos on setting routines and the importance of setting and tracking habits, I suggest you do so immediately after finishing this video. Studies show that the easiest way to accomplish goals is by setting smaller, attainable daily and weekly habits that put you in a position to build up to 
and actually accomplish the bigger goal. Think about it. If your goal is to write a book by the end of the year, doesn't it make sense to write one to two pages a day, every day? And this principle applies to all aspects of life. I track about 10 or so habits each day that just basically keep me in check. My spiritual health, physical health, my productivity, my mental well-being, everything. I like to check my habit tracker at the end of each day and see how well or bad I did that day and see what I need to do better at tomorrow and the day after that and the next week and the next month and next year and so forth and so forth and so forth. I think you get the point. At the end of the month, I have an overview and real evidence of what good habits I have and what bad things I've been doing and what things I am bad at and need to improve. My seventh non-negotiable is eating all my meals. I know you're probably wondering, okay, why is that even on the list? But med school stressed the heck out of me, okay? Having joined my class an entire semester late, I had to catch up and do a whole lot of extra work to do this catching up. And I did. I entered that first year top of my class and every year after that for the rest of med school too. And you guys would have seen this in my videos from all the way back in med school. But it came with bad habits developed. I would get home from class tired, drained, and I'll just skip dinner or just snack on something. And this is something that has generally continued even till now, like years after med school. I could have a very busy day in the hospital and come home and just have ice cream for dinner. I'm sure you've seen my vlogs where work gets crazy and I decide to just sleep, but that is so unhealthy. So I decided at the beginning of the year that all meals of the day must be had, busy day or not. My eighth non-negotiable is to have a quick daily tidy and clean up each day. I hate cleaning anything. I hate doing dishes, I hate doing laundry, I just hate cleaning generally. So, in order to avoid having large amounts of cleaning to do on weekends, I have made it a habit to pick up after myself and do a daily tidy up of each room daily and sort out the little messes that get made throughout the day before they continue to pile up and become bigger messes that need the whole day to clean and arrange. My ninth daily non-negotiable is to not receive calls or rather not accept calls after 8 p.m. Life has made me become very unapologetic about the boundaries I set for myself. I have come to realize that people will just take and take and take and never have any regard for you unless you make them. Also, being a doctor is all fun and games until patients wait till the middle of the night to call you for minor things that they know they could have called you about earlier or have waited until tomorrow morning to ask about. So. At 8 p.m., I start to prepare for bed. I pack up my desk, I do my little cleanup, I shower, I do my skincare, and I get into bed. I will film an in-depth evening routine for you guys so you can see how I properly wind down and sleep by 9 p.m. every day. Do let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. But I basically like to just have some peace of mind and quiet and me time before I sleep. And I can't do that if I'm still replying to messages, checking investigations, and just have my mind clouded full of things. I want to have some quiet and some peace of mind and just tone down and just wind down before I sleep. My final non-negotiable and probably the most important one is just being intentional. I am a very intentional person. I almost never do anything without a properly thought out and evaluated reason for doing it. I am intentional about the company that I keep, the people that I entertain, the people that I let get close to me, the music I listen to, the things I watch, the things I expose myself to. I think you get the point. This not only teaches me discipline and keeps me focused, but it also protects my little heart from rubbish. <laughs> yeah, I know you weren't expecting that statement, but seriously, when you're intentional about your life, it teaches other people how to be with you too. So, how do you expect another person to take you seriously when you yourself don't? You get the point, right? So, my loves, these are my 10 non-negotiables for a healthy, fulfilled, and productive life. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would like to know what your non-negotiables are, so do leave a comment down below and also let me know which one of mine resonates the most with you. Let me know what routines or videos you would like me to film, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video from me again, and I will see you in my next video. I love you guys. Mwah.